If you've browsed the news today, it's likely that you've seen some major business or government organization that fell victim to ransomware or suffered a data breach. But what about all the small and the medium sized businesses that fell victim to similar cyber attacks that don't make the news? It's guaranteed that there are by far many more of them around that suffer from these same cyber attacks. In some cases, it's becoming appealing for businesses to adopt cloud solutions and have their staff work remotely. However, it can be challenging, especially for small to medium sized businesses with limited resources or in-house knowledge to navigate this territory, especially when it comes to providing and managing their cyber security requirements, potentially opening themselves up to all sorts of vulnerabilities without necessarily knowing about it. If you are a managed service provider or aspiring to start your own MSP business, business with focus on providing cybersecurity solutions and services, this video is for you. Just a side note, if you're not an MSP, stick around anyway. This video can also be valuable to other cybersecurity professionals or network administrators and so on looking for next generation firewall solutions. There's clearly a massive need, especially in the small to medium sized business market for quality, cost effective cybersecurity solutions. And today we're going to talk about using Zenarmor combined with open source firewalls and how MSPs can create bundled solutions to unlock almost instant security improvements and overall value for their clients while creating additional profitable income streams. Let's jump straight in. Before we begin, I just want to say thanks to this video's sponsor, Zen Armor. If you've been following my channel, you'll know that I'm a big supporter of Zen Armor and I use it personally across multiple deployments. Please show them some love. I've included a sign up link in the description. There is a 15 day trial to explore the business features. And when you're ready, they have various subscription tiers starting from free to home to small office, home office to big business. So basically, everyone's covered. Let's uh, get back to the video. Why is using Zen Armor with your open source firewall a good idea? If you've been in the IT industry for a while, you've likely already come across or even deployed open source firewalls such as PFSense or OpenSense for your clients, which is great. These firewalls provide many standard features businesses require to maintain their ongoing operations like VPN capabilities, IDS, IPS services, web filtering, etc. So you may be thinking, what more do I need? Well, by simply installing the Zenoma plugin, you have now unlocked next generation firewall capabilities such as real-time deep packet inspection, AI powered threat intelligence, application and web controls and reporting, which is typically only available with expensive enterprise firewall appliances. With Zenoma, you can immediately offer these features and increased value and security to your clients with little additional efforts. I'll add a link in the description to a previous video that I did covering the Zenom installation process on your OpenSense firewall that you can check out when you are done with this video. Why is Zenarmor's zero hardware dependency a game changer for MSPs? Because Zenarmor is totally software defined, there's zero hardware dependency, meaning that you can essentially deploy Zenarmor on most off the shelf hardware or in the cloud with a wide choice of supported operating systems, not only limited to OpenSense or PFSense. You can install Zenarmor on popular Unix or Linux based operating systems like Ubuntu, Red Hat, FreeBSD, and even Amazon Linux, to name a few. There's no need for expensive hardware appliances, and with Zenarmor's software defined architecture, you can rapidly spin up security services in under 10 minutes anywhere that you may need it on-prem in the cloud to provide immediate value to your clients. With this hardware independent solution, even small or resource constrained businesses can now benefit from enterprise grade security without the need to pay high upfront costs for security appliances or commit to pricey maintenance contracts. In a lot of cases, your clients may already have PFSense or OpenSense deployed, which means a simple plugin can be installed and that's all that's required to get all the benefits that Zenarmor has to offer. How does an MSP manage its client's Zenarmor deployments? So you may be thinking, this sounds great, 
provides almost instant security wherever it's needed and unlocks additional value from my pre-existing OpenSense or PFSense deployments. And this all makes perfect sense, but how do I efficiently manage all these firewalls? The short answer is by using Zen Console. Zen Console is a cloud-based manager that allows MSPs to govern all aspects of administering their client Zenama firewall deployments, including subscriptions, upgrades, uh, activations, removals, etc. Additionally, all firewall policies and configurations are managed on the client's behalf using a cloud-based single pane of glass approach. Role-based granular access controls are included, so you can assign individual members of your network management team the appropriate permissions needed to effectively manage all your clients' firewalls. And best of all, this functionality comes at no additional cost. Can Zenarmor be integrated with existing MSP platforms and systems? Speed and efficiency of service delivery are key for any MSP's success and most often achieved through the automation of tasks and workflows. Zenarmor's RESTful API provides the ability to integrate with popular MSP automation platforms like ConnectWise, Kaseya, allowing you to optimize billing, monitoring, and policy management via these familiar platforms. Some MSPs may already be offering monitoring and logging services to their clients. The good news is that Zenarmo is also capable of easily integrating with existing Seam, Syslog, XDR solutions by allowing all log data collected by the firewall to be streamed to these services. Zenarmo is also capable of integrating with Microsoft Active Directory or third-party captive portals such as the one included in OpenSense, which allows MSPs to define firewall policies around individual users and groups that already exist within the organization, regardless of the IP address or device that they're using to access the network. What other features does Zenarmo have that allows MSPs to create value? Because some of the day-to-day -day services offered by MSPs are carried out in the background, the real value of the services provided may go unnoticed by the client. With Zenarmor, MSPs have the ability to highlight their value adds by providing their customers with intuitive, easy-to-read reports that can be quickly customized depending on the target audience, so that no matter who is reading the report, anyone can understand why certain types of content were restricted or blocked entirely. The reports can also be helpful in identifying user patterns and it can be used as a means to identify unwanted applications being used on the network, helping the MSP to take control over shadow IT. Automated reporting can be scheduled daily, weekly or monthly, helping MSPs to communicate the ongoing value they provide to their clients. Another means of reinforcing the value that MSPs provide to their clients is through Zenarmor's ability to create and share custom block landing pages. These pages are presented to a user whenever they access a website or app that is restricted due to a threat or a business policy by an easy to understand landing page. The page is presented to the end user explaining why the service or content they are attempting to access is being blocked, including an explanation of why it's a potential cybersecurity threat to the organization. This approach not only helps to educate the end user about potential threats, but also reduces the number of support tickets created by end users querying these issues, freeing up the technical help desk staff so they can focus on the important tasks and requests. What does all this cost and how do MSPs bundle these services into existing packages? So if you've made it this far, the extra value MSPs are able to provide to their clients using Zenarmor should be pretty clear. But what does all this cost and how does an MSP charge its clients for these services? Fortunately, with Zenarmor, this is very straightforward. Zenarmor offers a subscription-based pricing model where a MSP can purchase individual firewalls, each with a pool of licenses covering the number of devices connected to the network that requires Zenarmor's protection. These licenses can be dynamically allocated throughout the organization where they're needed. And because licenses are offered on a per-user device model, MSPs can easily factor in these costs when creating service packages for their clients with no unexpected hidden costs or fluctuations. 
Licenses are offered as an annual or multi-year subscription, which helps to make the return on investment calculation straightforward. As an added benefit, should an MSP unfortunately lose a client for unforeseen reasons, licenses can easily be relocated to another customer, minimizing the financial impact to the MSP. Zen Armor truly provides one of the most feature-rich firewall solutions for the MSP market. With enterprise class security, zero hardware dependency, cloud-based single pane of glass management, API integrations, and reporting, all made available through a cost-effective subscription-based model, it's difficult not to recognize the significant value an MSP is able to create by utilizing Zen Armor. Don't leave your clients unprotected. After all, they are looking to your organization to ensure the efficient and uninterrupted IT operations that their business depends on. Try Zenoma on a 15-day trial, no credit cards required, and enjoy all the business edition features on offer. Set it up in 10 minutes or less, and you'll be glad that you did it. I have a sign-up link in the description below. If you found this video useful, please consider liking and subscribing. And if you have any questions, please post them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon.